Good day and welcome to Harbor Highlights. On today's show, we have some important reminders about Infinite Campus and another Adventure School announcement. We also have some students sharing a pretty cool event that happened in their class earlier this year. This is more, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is KP. And I'm Fisher. We have some pretty amazing kids at our school to take part in something called Job Squad. They do anything from sharpening pencils to organizing or cutting the cutting. The students in Mrs. Borismo's class love to help and love to learn. A cool, a cool activity that they did at the beginning of the year was to have special class pet. They were able to see their pet go through some pretty amazing changes, but we don't want to give it all away. Here they are to tell you more. Hi, I'm Alana, and I'm here to interview Ms. Borzma and a couple of her students about the interesting events that are taking place in her class. So I heard you guys have something called Job Squad. What is Job Squad and what do they do? A group of students who do jobs for Harbor Lights. So why do you like to help others in our school? Because it is fun. So recently a cool event took place in your classroom. Can you tell us what happened? We have a butterfly came out of its chrysalis and we set it free. So what's the life cycle of a butterfly? The butterfly started as a giant bear turn into a chrysalis and then turn into a butterfly. So how does one know if it if it is a boy or a girl butterfly? A butterfly was a girl. Thank you Ms. Borisman for having for taking the time to do this interview with us. You are very welcome. Thank you for coming. That was pretty cool footage. They were able to capture of the chrysalis turning into a butterfly. If your class is doing something you would like to share on our show, please let Mrs. Postma or any video production student know. Now over for this week's general announcements. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Hi, I'm Blake. The lunch specials on Monday are Southern Barbecue Bowl, Tuesday Chicken Bacon Grinder with Fries, Wednesday Corn Dog. Thursday's Chicken and Cheese Quesadillas and Friday's Grilled Cheese Sandwich and Soup. Skiers and snowboards, are, and those wanting to learn how to ski and snowboard, please attend one of the meetings with a parent to get information and to sign up. This meeting is required for new ski club members. You may go to either meeting, and the meeting times are the following Tuesday, November, November from 6 to 7 p.m. in the Harbor Lights Cafeteria, or Wednesday, November 7 at 7 p.m. at High School North LGI Room. At that time, you can purchase a $17 card that gets you a discount every time you go to Bittersweet. Our club travels weekly on Friday evenings and as you sign in, sign up on a weekly basis. We will also again be taking a day trip to Caber Peaks in February. If you did ski club last year, you pick up the form from Miss Rollins to get your card. You can go with our school on Friday. There is no knitting club today, and the next meeting is November 5th. After school tutoring is available on Monday through Thursday in the 7th grade computers lab if you need a place to do homework or get some extra help. Intersection Ministries also have an after school program available on Tuesday after school until 5 p.m. There is a bus that picks you up immediately after school. The deadline for the yearbook covers is this week, November 1. We are looking for this these great designs on the yearbooks. Finally, the high school musical performance on Greece is this week. Tickets are selling fast. You can buy your tickets online or at the box office. You won't want to miss this amazing show. This week, Friday, is the end of the first marking period. This means that any missing or late work will be graded in our final. Infinite Campus is a great way to check up on those grades. Some students have a chance to talk to Mrs. Dears about how students can be using Infinite Campus as a tool for success. Hi, I'm Cameron, and today I'm here with Ms. Dears to interview about Infinite Campus. What is Infinite Campus, and how do you check your grades? 
So Infinite Campus is West Ottawa's student information system, and we use that system to keep track of things like students' grades, attendance, um, behavior issues, and then we also use Infinite Campus to communicate with families about upcoming events and to students about assignments. So if you are a student that wants to check your grade on Infinite Campus, you are going to log in. There'll be a grade tab on the left-hand side of the screen that you click on, and then all of your grades will pop right up. That should be something that you're checking very frequently. How do you sign into Infinite Campus? So signing into Infinite Campus is super easy. You are going to use your student ID as your username and then your first initial and last initial plus your birth date as your password. How can parents use Infinite Campus to support their child's learning? One of the most important things that parents can do to support their child's learning is to check Infinite Campus regularly. That means logging in just like you would to check progress on grades on a weekly basis, to have conversations with their sons and daughters about grades, about missing assignments, and potentially turning those in to get caught back up if that's the case. Um, using Infinite Campus to communicate with teachers about any questions they have or any concerns they have and then also just to read all of the messages that come from teachers or from the school to make sure that they are up to date with everything that's going on in the classroom and everything that's going on in the school. What does it take to be an honor roll? So in order to make honor roll every quarter you have to have a GPA of 3.0 or better. That means that when we look at your grades uh, you have to have an average of all B's or better in your classes. So that can look different for different students. Uh, it could be all A's and a C, or it could be all B's and a couple A's, but it just has to average out to 3.0. What is a GPA and why is it important to have a good GPA? So GPA stands for grade point average, um, and basically it's the numeric average of all of your letter grades. So when we just talked about honor roll, we talked about having a 3.0. That means that A's are worth a 4, B's are worth a 3, and then down the list. So we just do an average to create your GPA. GPA is super important because you have to have the right GPA to get honor roll, you have to have a high enough GPA to play sports um, and participate in clubs and activities. We use GPA as an indication of um, where you are in the learning process. When you get into high school, you're gonna have to have a certain GPA to do all the things that you do in middle school in terms of participating in activities and different sporting events. Um, but then as you are looking further into your academic career, schools are gonna look at your GPA to decide whether or not they are going to admit you into their university. So it's really important to start creating habits now which means that you need to make sure that you're studying, you need to make sure that you're turning everything in on time, and you need to make sure that you're always giving it your best effort and making it happen so that you keep your GPA up. Because if you do it now, it'll be a habit when you get into high school, and that will open doors to you as you move forward into college. As you know, in order to make on the roll, your average grade for your six classes has to be a 3.0 or higher. A few weeks ago, Adventure School had a great time at Crane's Orchard. The numbers were limited, but this week, Friday, the event is at school, and students can attend. Here are a few students that went on the last trip with some information about how you can sign up for this week if you haven't done so yet. We're here with Tori to interview her about Adventure School. What did you like most about Adventure School? Um, hanging out with friends. We're here with Caleb to interview him about Adventure School. What did you like most about Adventure School? I like most about the adventure school was having fun picking apples and doing the corn maze. This year we got to do both of them. After the corn maze we got to have watered hot chocolate and then we got back to the school and had hot dogs with fruit and chips. When is the next event? The next event is November 2 after school and will be fun activities, teamwork, initiatives and cooperatives with pizza involved. Where do you pick up the permission slips and forms? For seventh grade, you pick them up from Ms. Ms. Yetsky and Mr. Hardy, and you give them to Mr. Hardy. For eighth grade, you pick them up from Ms. Harrington and Ms. Antoni, and you give them to Ms. Harrington. 
Just a reminder, these slips are first come, first serve, and the people who will be attending will get a letter reminding them. During South Day Friday, you need to be picked up by 6.30 <laughs> by a parent. We are starting our... We are starting our games for the first winter season sports to, to let's send it over for this week's sports report. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Megan. Competitive cheer tryouts begin this week, Monday and Tuesday. You must have a Panther card to participate. Here are the games for boys basketball. The black teams play Tuesday away against Byron Center, and Thursday they challenge Hall and Christian also away. The white teams play Thursday at home against Muskegon Middle. The swim and dive teams will compete away at the Aquatic Center against Holland Christian. Good luck, Panthers, in your first competition. Back to the anchors. Thank you, students and parents. I went to conferences last week. You have two more chances tonight, Monday from 5 to 8 p.m. or Wednesday, October 31st from 1 to 4. This will be a half day for students. Thanks for watching our show, and don't forget that every day is a new, new day and a new opportunity to make it happen. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Okay.